everyone. So today I am going to show you how to create a choose your adventure Google form. So as you can see, students are given multiple options of activities that they would like to do, but each option requires a different response. The end product that we are going to make is this form here. So if you preview the form, requires them to put their name. I'm just going to put test. And then activity number one, they chose their activity. So say I did a Newzella article. And if they click next, it goes to the Newzella article and requires them to write the name of the article, write a summary, and then be specific. And then if they were to click next, it would take them to a question about their second activity. So, for example, if they did the simulations, click next. Now they have to fill the response for the simulation. And then when they're done, they click submit. I'm going to put Wacky Wednesday. Then you could write a description on this form. You can Tell them to write their name, your name, and then once they get to make that required, so to make it required, you would click required. Then you could add a new section. I'm going to add my question for activity number one. So activity number one is the one that's going to give them the choices, and I am going to choose the drop down. And I have five um, activities for them to choose from. So I'm going to put choose your activity. And then my first activity is YouTube. These are my options. I could make a copy of this, duplicate this section now. And then I will do one for activity two, since I'm having them do two activities. Once I'm done with that, I can now make sections for these different uh, activities that they actually choose. So first, I'm going to make a Smarter Everyday section. So I'm going to add a section again. And this is going to be for YouTube. And you could type your question. So this is a short answer question. Just type in your question or whatever you want to them to type, if it's a short answer, if it's a paragraph. And then I'm going to duplicate this again because it's two activities, so I'm uh, duplicating them. OK, so I, I've, I have finished with all my sections. So now what I want to do is I want to reorder my section. Click on this top, those three dots there, and then click on Move Section, and it will give you a list of all the sections. You could use these arrows to move, but you can also move on this side if your mouse is on the left side and that will just be easier to move things around so I have smarter every day then I have science buddies after activity one then I have newzella then I have the set simulations then reality series so then I'm done moving them and I'm going to save them. And this will quickly reorder my sections. So now we have to tell the form to take the students to certain parts, depending on what option they choose. They need to be able to go somewhere to answer that question for that choice. Go to this three, these three dots here. You're going to click to go to section based on answer. So then they give you these choices to take you to certain sections. After they answer for 
or YouTube, Smarter Every Day, if they choose that, I want them to answer questions for that. So I'm going to find YouTube Smarter Every Day. That's in Section 3. So I'm going to have it take them to Section 3. And I'm going to do the same. For Science Buddies, is Section 4. So now when they choose their choice from the drop-down, it'll automatically take them to that section to answer questions for that specific question section. Um, I'm making it required. Once you're done telling it where to go, then for your, each of your specific sections, you want to tell the form to take the students to Activity 2, the Activity 2 section. So you would click at this drop down button here, and now you're telling them to continue to Activity 2. So that is in Section 8. So that's where they, they're going to go after they have uh, filled out their response. I'm going to do the same for each of them. Okay, and now I'm going to do the same for Activity 2 as I did for Activity 1. Right here, I'm going to click at the lower bottom right, and I'm going to tell it to go to section based on answer. But now it's going to be the sections below this. So uh, YouTube Smarter Every Day is section 9. So continue to section 9. Once you have that, you are going to, again, go here. But this time, you give them the option of submitting the form. So you're going to tell it to take the students to submit form or allow the students to submit form. Submit form. Or there's no submit form option for the last section because it will automatically show up. But if you wanted to add another section, you can add a section, and maybe you want um, to put, are you sure? Submit. Then you can change this to submit form, and then they can submit. So now if we go to preview the form, here's the form, your name. Choose your activity. So I chose YouTube Smarter Every Day, and it will take me to the YouTube Smarter Every Day. And if I choose Science Buddies, it will take me to the Science Buddies. And if I choose Newzella, it will take me to Newzella. And if I type in my answer and choose Next, I can choose another section and answer my question, and then I can submit. And that's how you make uh, create your own adventure form.